Hi, I'm James Fernando. I'm one of the key account managers here at Click Consult. I work with a number of clients, helping them to achieve their search marketing objectives. Today, I'm going to talk about the value of communication in building and maintaining relationships. One of the most valuable commodities and integral parts of communication, in my opinion, is simply just to listen. By taking the time to listen and asking questions of your client, you can ensure that nothing is lost in translation when trying to understand a client's objectives and long-term strategies. I would also like to point out that I think this is a two-way street and that a client should not be afraid to ask their agency any questions that they have and an agency should be honest and approachable in their response. It's very important when we start a new client relationship that a communication strategy is put in place. This gives everyone the opportunity to agree on how often they want to meet, whether that be face-to-face -face or on a call. We need to tailor the way we speak and communicate to our clients based on their knowledge of search marketing. For example, some clients might want to talk about Google Analytics or an Excel format when reviewing performance. Other clients might want to look at things at a more top level basis and use the meeting to be able to discuss and understand the data that's being put in front of them. It's also integral, I believe, to keep the lines of communication open between yourself and the client in between those meetings. Whether that be changes to the client's website, administration, or more importantly, if there's a change in sales, it's important for us as an agency to understand when those things are happening so that we can react to them and give enough time to prepare. Agreeing on a set agenda, whether that be a weekly or monthly call, is very important as it ensures that a structure is placed in the meeting, it gives enough time to both parties involved to prepare for any queries that are brought up, and also allows for both parties to make the meeting or call worthwhile. The meeting minutes form a key part of successful communication. They summarise the points discussed in the meeting and give takeaway actions for both parties, including the agency and the client. They will also form the basis of the agenda for the next meeting and also should be handed out and shared to all parties involved. To summarise, a communication strategy should be agreed right at the start of the relationship. An agenda should be set up and agreed upon to provide structure and to make the most of the time. Follow-up meeting minutes should be shared with everyone involved to provide guidance on actions to be taken by who and by when. That's all for me. Thank you for your time. I've been James.